Hi everyone, Lamisha here from LamishaSurfWalls.com bringing you another Mindset Monday tip for your week. And today's tip is really about how to reset your mindset when you feel like it's gotten off track. And this particular tip is actually consists of three steps, but this tip is really good for those moments or days or sometimes weeks when you've fallen off track, right? Mindset wise, you're allowing, you know, the current reality or situation or circumstances to get the best of you and your mind has drop down into that rabbit hole and you're finding it hard to kind of get back up to the top. Now, I want to preface these three steps with saying that sometimes this isn't something that you can do right off the bat, right? Sometimes you're not ready to do that and you're not really aware of what's happening for a couple of days. I find myself often in the rabbit hole, maybe for a couple of days up to a week and I'm like, you know, what's going on until I become very aware of what's going on in my mind. That's okay, that's normal, but this mindset reset practice is really gonna help you uh, with three steps to get back on track from any of those potential setbacks, okay? So the first step is to reframe. And when I'm talking about reframing, what I'm really talking about is telling a new story. So nine times out of 10 when we're triggered and we end up in the rabbit hole, the reason is because we have created some kind of meaning about a situation or circumstance and we created this story about ourselves and that led to potential you know, negative emotion or negative energy and we kind of get sucked into that spiral of thoughts. So when you reframe, what I'm asking you to do is find an alternative story for that situation. So instead of looking at it and saying, in this situation it meant I was a failure, right? Look at it and, and tell a new story. Maybe instead of it saying that you're a failure, what it's really saying is that you know you just need a little bit of support or you need to reach out and ask questions that maybe you haven't asked before or that this isn't a failure, this is just another step along your journey. By trying to tell a new powerful story, you start shifting that reaction and you start stepping out, step by step out of the rabbit hole so that you can really get back on track, okay? So step one, reframe, tell a new story. Step two is remember. And what I'm asking you to really remember is I want you to remember those past moments when you you made it through a, a situation like this. The past times when it looked like it was a really grim situation and then it worked in your favor. The past moments when you had this kind of circumstance and you had an amazing mindset and it worked out for you. Because a lot of times what happens is we often get amnesia. When we are stuck in that rabbit hole, we are convinced that though that circular space, the dirt, the grime, the, the nasty thoughts that we have are all there is. We forget about the past success that we had. We forget about how far we've come. We forget that we have the power to be and have and do whatever it is that we desire. So by actively remembering and looking back over the course of our lives or business or relationship or whatever it is that you're working through, that will help you like hone in on these successes that you've had and almost help you tap into that energy again so that you can get yourself out of that rabbit hole and get moving forward again, okay? This is also one of the reasons that I ask my clients to to write down and keep track of their wins, right? So it may be in a journal or it may be in a note section in your phone, but the idea is you wanna keep track of these amazing situations, manifestations, things that came easily for you, shifts in your mindset so that when you have these moments you can go back and go oh yes I remember I remember that I can actually do this okay don't underestimate that step it is very very powerful and it will make a huge difference for you okay step three is to reset it's like pressing a reset button in your mind and what I'm asking you to do here is really about going back to what you know works for you go back to your mindset practice Go back to the journaling or visualization or affirmations or meditation or working with a coach or whatever it is that you typically do to get yourself in that high flying space, like high vibe, you know, uh, mindset place. Go back to that. So once you've done the first step and the second step, then your mind is primed and ready to take on those new beliefs. So you really want to you know, drill down into whatever practice works for you. And you know that I'm a fan of having a practice, but I'm not telling you what your practice should be. I give lots of examples and and ideas of what could be, but go to what works for you, okay? 
press reset, go back to that place and really focus and double down on that mindset practice because it's going to make a huge difference in your energy and how you're thinking and those powerful beliefs as you move forward. Okay. So the mindset reset again, three steps, reframe, tell a new story, remember your past successes, reflect on those, and then reset. Go back to your mindset practice and double down on that so that you remember just how powerful you really are and that you truly can be, have, and do whatever it is that you choose, okay? These mindset moments where we feel like we're being pulled backward are really opportunities just to continue to grow and expand. So don't look at them as if they are this massive negative thing and it means that you're a failure or that you're not doing what you're supposed to do. This is why we are here. We are here to learn. We are here to grow. We are here to evolve and expand. And those moments help us do just that. So I hope that this tip was helpful for you. If you would love to share this, I would love for you to do that. And if you have other questions about mindset or things that you would like me to talk more about, feel free to post those comments below. Of course, if you're looking for specific mindset support or you're interested in what it would be like to work with a coach, feel free to book a free consultation. I would love to chat with you and just talk a little bit about what this is and see if we're a good fit to work together. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great Monday and a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.